Hello everyone, thank you for coming. Today we have Nikolai who will be telling us about causal duality for simplicial restricted Lie algebras. Okay, so as I told my, my the title of my talk is causal uh, duality for uh, simplicial uh, or simplicial uh, restricted that uh, the algebras. This is a long title, but I'm sorry for that. But each uh, part here actually matters. I cannot just talk on. Okay, but let me. So this is going to be a story, more algebraic rather than topological, topological one. So I'm again sorry for that. And this is going to be a story. Uh, uh, happens over a field of prime characteristic. So let me first recall what happens over over characteristic of like, over field of characteristic zero, like I should like to in this case. Uh, so I'm not going to do any fancy ones. I'm just going to to uh, recall the work of Daniel Quillen for from Russian automotive theory. So what um, one? Uh, okay. So on Q, I recall it on the equivalence. What is a gamotic category of uh, differential graded co-algebras mm, uh, one connected is equivalent to, to the gamotic category of DG of differential graded play algebras zero connected. So this is uh, differential graded. Because I'll over Q. One stands for one connected. Uh, so I recall that DG algebra is a chain, the chain complex. So it's, I use uh, homological gradient here. And one connected means what? Uh, well, we can we, we can say what all all terms are zero. Uh, this is uh, the G Lie algebras. Uh, again, over Q, uh, zero connected. So the G Lie algebra is again a chain complex and zero. Well, you can say that all terms in this complex are regrading less to equal than zero are zeros. And here I also can notice this symbol HO, which stands for geometric categories. And this is kind of important here, because um, the geometric category is a, is a data, not just a one category, it's a data of equivalences in this category. So here I took, uh, I took uh, I, I, I relations uh, with respect to uh, staking. Uh, with respect to wisely isomorphisms. So objects in both sides are chain complex, so we have an, um, canonical notions of quasi isomorphism here. Uh, this is actually kind of important uh, to remember with, uh, with respect to what we localized as the corresponding categories because if you if you if you dropped if you want to drop this condition one or zero here, for example, take all connected the algebras instead of zero connected. Well, it it would be it wouldn't be true, uh, but if, it would be true if you change the notion of weak uh, equivalence on, on one of the sides. Okay. Also, I have to say that this, um, this equivalence is given. Uh, is achieved uh, by very explicit functors, by very explicit, explicit functors, explicit. Mm -hmm. oh, but they can be achieved by very explicit functors. 
So, for example, from core algebra, how, how you can make a co-algebra on the algebra? Well, so if you have a co-algebra, when you produce, uh, how you produce the algebra? Well, you can, you can first of all shift it, or minus one, I guess, after take the free one, and the free real algebra span by, by, by this vector, and produce a correct differential. Uh, which is a combination of co-multiplication in C and the uh, differential in C. Yeah. On opposite side, if you have a real algebra, how you produce? Uh, you, again, take a shift, I guess in this case by one, but I'm not sure, uh, and we'll do what? Uh, and take the free, uh, free algebra, I, I, I say symmetric ones, and again produce, uh, and again endow with some differential, which is a combination of, of a lead bracket and a differential uh, in L. So all of that is very explicit, and mm, this is how this equivalence is achieved. So, okay, so this is a reminder. Any questions so far? Okay, so. So, ah, yeah, one, one more. So, such equivalences, I, I would call such equivalences as special blood. This is what is, well, well, this is what I mean by that. Because, as you probably know, there's no, it's not a mathematical term. Plus, with some philosophy. I mean, I mean, you know, supply here. Uh, like that. Uh, okay. So, and after that, you can try to, Ask yourself how important what we use rational numbers here, period of twisting zero, uh, how important what we use some to G stuff, from the algebra, how it's impossible to generalize. I wish to present um, probably just the most, one of the most naive ways to generalize, first of all. Uh, uh, I'm going to take the field of FP. Uh, so um, I used to take the field of characteristic uh positive characteristic with a prime number. And I for convenience for a better notation, I'm going to take uh field of just, just a finite field of thing. Uh okay. So and in this case, such be also will be wrong if you just take this one. So you have to do some changes. So um, Probably it's kind of a difficult part to me because you have to take you have to do a lot of changes. You have to change both real algebras, uh, or core algebras, and you also have to change um, how you take the direct variance of these objects. Um, over rational numbers, it doesn't matter, but uh, over field of positive case, it's really different uh, ways to take direct objects. Uh, by, by taking complexes with some structures or by taking simplicial stuff, for example, or by the, or by the expect on with, with some additional structures. Okay, so, uh, so, okay, so what's now for so? Uh, uh, okay, so, now, let me just come down. Uh, okay, so oh, we have to do some replacements. Uh, okay, so I'm going to replace real algebras uh, with real algebras with, with one additional structure. So let me just give the definition. But suppose what we is a real algebra. Uh, when uh, the map psi is called operation. Uh, if sorry, uh, if if it satisfies our properties, so one of these properties is what uh, psi preserves multiplication by number. Same 
Uh, if you take the bracket with side like smalls, x, x, times, 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 and the second and the last property uh, is what xi is not. Um, it's not even. It's not usually an additive operation, but you can um, express uh, its non-additivity in terms of the bracket. So if you apply xi x plus y, um, this is like xi x plus xi y uh, plus some corrections. Uh, this is this um, i y minus one uh, of some expression psi of xy where so it's fine uh, mm, is a coefficient is a coefficient uh for mm, T uh, in Ah, uh, so okay, so what is written here? So plus okay, so uh if you have two elements of like x and y you know, uh you can uh take some formal variable t and take this sum. You can uh uh add by the sum on x on an element text p minus one times just just like here. And when you apply a lot of when you apply uh Jacobi identity and so on, when you open this, when we oh no, not Jacob, um, when you apply uh when when you use what's uh, your bracket is by linear, uh you will get some expression in terms of t and you take the coefficient before t or before some power of t. <clears throat> so, uh, okay, so uh, the second definition that Mr. Little Algebra. Uh, sorry, is it mm -hmm. obvious that, uh, the, that it's symmetric on in X and Y? Uh, it's not, it's not obvious, uh, but, if you but it's true. It's true, actually it's true. Okay, thank you. Ah, uh, so when uh, a stick to algebra is just a pair of real algebra and real relation. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, this is some problem, complicated definition in the first. So I need probably uh, perhaps need to show some examples. So first example is uh, abelian uh, stated algebras. What I mean by that, I mean that the word that the bracket is equal to zero. Well, if bracket is equal to zero. When uh, this one is vacuous, and this one just say what xi acts uh, linearly. So it means what a linear algebra is the same, uh, is uh, the same as f xi models. Uh, sorry, it's xi models. Right. Uh, second example is more mm -hmm. uh, complicated, and, and actually explains how these axioms, uh, how these axioms uh, appears. So let's take. Is, is there a restricted V algebra called restricted V algebra because of some restriction? Uh, well, I don't remember why. Oh, okay, <laughs> but it's actually a very old term. 
That's some some stupid term, okay? <laughs> oh, just very old. Uh, it probably means something. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no judgment. So sometimes with with operation is called restriction. Oh, Why? Okay. I don't, don't remember. Um, so another example is when you take the associative algebra. Uh, when you can produce a restricted key algebra, which is for some reason I call uh, a zero. Uh, so how, how, which is the process of bracket here? So bracket here is just uh, x, y minus y, x. And uh, the operation here is just taking the power of x. So if the algebra is associative but non-commutative, when the taking of fifth power is not an additive operation, even if it's over, over field of realistic P. Uh, and but its non additivity can be expressed in terms of brackets. And this is called this formula, formula arise here. Mm. Okay, so and another example if you have a two commutative uh, two commutative of algebra. When the set of uh, primitive elements, primitive elements. is a restricted to algebra. Mm -hmm. uh, with the same bracket and the same operation as here. Okay. Ah, and uh, one more example. It's a uh, uh, free. How how to describe the free object here? Uh, free restricted uh, free algebra. And this is probably why it's better to call divided power. Yeah, is what if you have a vector space when the free one, uh, it's a primitive elements in the tensor algebra. And uh, this is really can be expressed as a sum of uh, the following functors. So I'm taking here not what I'm taking here invariance instead of a current variance. So if I would take current variance here, I would get just a free V algebra. But if I take current variance, I would also would have uh, this P equation. Okay. So this is this is how the free the algebra. Uh, okay. And uh, here, uh, language. So, uh, here, uh, it's proven in one more, but the category of restricted free algebras, which I would call, uh, which I would denote by LVR, is uh, algebras. is equivalent to, uh, to the category of hop algebras uh, the, uh, which is the primitive to generate and to generate hop algebras. Uh, this was an important point. I, I really have to mention it. So uh, you can consider you can consider whole algebras, uh, co-commutative ones, uh, but mm, but with commutative uh, implication. Uh, in, for whole algebra, you have primitive elements, and let's consider let's consider only whole algebras where primitive elements generate the whole algebra, also as an algebra, which is not always true, but Let's consider only such such for when the category of such real algebras would be equivalent to generated ones, which generate the whole algebras. 
the equivalence is given by taking primitive elements and by taking uh, the correct version universal, universal and well algebra. Okay. Uh, okay, good. Uh, okay, so this is the one side of question duality. This is what, what, what is going to be a replacement here. Uh, now let's uh, let's try to let's let's discuss uh, the replacement for the left hand side. Yeah. Uh, so I call the replacement uh, truncated algebras. Okay. So, uh, okay, so let's see the uh, co-augmented culture. And to commutative culture. Uh, co-augmented means what we exist to map from, from a field uh, to C. Right. So um, it would turn out what uh, uh, so for new algebras I need to to add some additional data for co-algebras I need to do some restrictions I need to consider only not all of them but some 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 some, some subcategory so let me discuss here so I would say so let's move so uh, so uh, so suppose first what dimension of C, that C is finite dimension. When I say what C is truncated, if for any X in the dual, so I can dualize. So if I have a finite dimensional for algebra, I can take the dual algebra, which is going to be an argumented one. Uh, so and C here uh, is from the kernel of argumentation. We have xp is equal to zero. So what what is it? So I said what uh, a finite dimensional complemented algebra is called truncated if for any element of the dual algebra from the argumentation ideal we have but if power of this element is equal to zero. Uh, so now if c is infinite dimensional. Uh, when C is truncated, if it's union of finite dimension, I can get it once. C is the union of uh, finite dimensional truncated. Mm -hmm. So, for algebra is better to so it's a correct definition for algebra, but it's better to formulate for algebra. Unfortunately, it's not very at all particular, so I have I have to do such such, such a thing. Uh, okay, so is it clear? Nico, can you uh, scroll for a second? Yeah, sure. Thanks. All right. Uh, truncated. Uh, what we're saying about uh, low truncated algebras. Sorry. What were we saying uh, about truncated below the truncated algebras thing? Ah, so, so, so I just I just give different definitions here. Okay. So, okay. so if uh, C is finite dimensional, yeah. when C is truncated, if in dual algebra, any element from the argumentation ideal for any, its fifth power is equal to zero. Okay. And uh, if, yeah. Uh, I, I was going to ask, what's the relation between the result that um, you're proving and the, the one about hop uh, algebras? Uh, which one? This one? 
Yes. Yeah, that one. Oh, so I, I'm going to use this one. You're sorry? I'm going to use this one. Okay, okay. And so then you're trying to you're, you're trying to like find another um category that's equivalent to the restricted Lie algebras. Uh so and that's this truncated co-algebras. Uh so uh, I'm trying to compare uh, some remote categories here. Mm -hmm. So on this side, I'm going. I, I wish to put uh, simplicial restricted Lie algebras. On the other side, I, I wish to put some simplicial algebras. Okay. But it's not going to work in this way. Okay. So I, I need to do some restrictions, and this is why I, I, I present all of, all of these definitions. Okay. Uh, so this top algebra will be some sort of inter intermediate step. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have examples. Example. Mm -hmm. Example one. What? Uh, uh, trivial. Of course, trivial algebras are truncated. And uh, let me also show, uh, and also let me show what how coffee algebra here looks like. Coffee truncated algebra. And this is probably why I call call them truncated. So. Uh, if you have a vector space, uh, you can, can consider uh, <coughs> uh, the symmetric uh, the algebra, the symmetric algebra generated by this, uh, this by this vector space. This is also going to be a algebra, and this is going to be a whole algebra, kind of nice. And you take into and for. Uh, uh, and I'm going to construct a coffee for algebra here as a quotient of this uh, this of, of, of this one by some idea. This is going to be an idea generated by all the power of elements here. Uh, and I denote this one as center. This is one. Uh, well, one can show what this, this gives you as a free uh, truncated algebra. Uh, meaning that it is this, this is going to be a functor, of course, and this gives you a uh, right adjoint to the mm -hmm. So I, uh, I just take this algebra of polynomials and take some portion of them. This is going to be a uh, algebra as well, and this is going to be a uh, microfree one. Uh, so here is the main theorem. Uh, the main variation theorem, the main classical results, which suppose as we should go into, is that the generated whole algebras are the same as uh, grouped objects in the category of truncated objects. This is again some fear and probably more, more, but uh, it, it takes some time. So, but it's formally it's not so direct in, uh, in the web paper, but but you can derive it. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, okay, so. So now we can consider uh, two, two, two things. We can consider simplicial. We can consider two things. We can consider simplicial objects 
and category of restricted algebras. Uh, and we can consider Figure out here. So, what is this? Uh, this is just simply show uh, strictly algebra. And this is, oh, what is this one? Uh, this is. Also, simply show how to get this one. Uh, this is so, and this is simply show uh, truncated for algebras. But let me take not all of them, but restricted ones. Or oh, not to reduce, uh, reduced ones. So what what means reduced? It means what um, I see. So if C pull it from here, and if C zero is just a field. Mm -hmm. So so I can see the two such such, such, such categories. Uh, both of these categories are uh, endowed with notions of equivalence, right? So I can say that uh, to what's the map of it's map L uh, here is a weak equivalence uh, if uh, the star of F is an isomorphism. And the same for map. Should it be the identity on C zero? So what, what what do you mean by by identity? Oh, let me. Hopefully, I'm not being stupid. Is uh, so the the underlying thing, the underlying um, field, the underlying like object of C zero is, is the field. Oh, I'm about to, I'm probably about to say something stupid, but it could it be the identity or rather like multiplication by an element of the field? Ah, so, so I was about this line. Yeah. Ah, uh, so what, what I'm saying, but uh, C-bullet is a simple shell uh, algebra. You yeah. can take, you can, you can consider the, the algebra of zero synthesis pair. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, but, uh, uh, the algebra is uh, reduced or from this category if uh, the algebra of zero synthesis c0 is the same mm -hmm. as a uh, as a field mm -hmm. okay okay i guess i guess may maybe i'm really asking like is it somehow canonically the field ah, okay so yeah it's almost let's say okay okay yeah thanks uh, I mean, you always can take a constant one, but I forbid such things. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, and again, you can say what here is a weak equivalence. If by star of f is an isomorphism, the same. Right? And what you one might expect, what I'm saying here, yeah. expectation. Expectation. But uh, the multiplicative of this one uh, is equivalent to uh, this one. Right? You probably would expect something like that. But unfortunately, this is not true. Sorry, this is not level-wise weak equivalences. This is different. What do you mean by level-wise? Uh, like simplicial objects, right? It's maps between. So I'm asking about the 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 weak equivalences. I have only one simplicial direction here. 
Um, sorry, I don't understand. So, uh, so I'm saying saying that uh, this map is a particular map of simplicial vector spaces. Yeah. And a weak equivalence key is the same as oh. of underlying special vector spaces. Underlying. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I'll, you can go on. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But please ask me because I, I, I'm sort of Russian. Uh, uh, hi again. Uh, another question. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm a little bit confused. Uh, Carl, do you consider unit of algebras or? Unit of yes. Okay, but uh, in the original uh, statement, uh, we should start it with uh, there was no unitality. Uh, your algebra slipped in degrees two and above, right? Ah, yes, yes. I'm, uh, 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 I say, I say, I say so, some stupid thing here. Yes, you're right. Uh, I have to take a uh, community co complemented here. And by one connected, I mean what? When, when you take the argumentation of your. OK, great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. OK, thank you. Uh, so, ah, so, so, yeah, so we introduce such things. So we introduce. Additional objects we introduce in our and probably one would expect that uh, you have some sort of weak equivalence, or maybe after after taking some some connected versions here. Uh, so this is not true. This is not true. This is not true. This is not true. Uh, and how 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 so? But what is true here? Uh, what is true? What, what is true? And this is kind of here. So it's true, but you can construct a funder. Which is I'm going to call strangely by double the bar U R from here to here. Uh, and uh, so there is a funder. This is the quantum double bar block has a left adjoint. Joint R, uh, which is again I would call PG. Uh, uh, and the unit map uh, from C bar to uh, G. Uh, mm. is a weak equivalence. It's a weak equivalence. So this map is in uh, simply shock algebras. It's a weak equivalence. Uh, for me, it's about from here. This is what is true. So there is a counter between these characters. Uh, this counter has a lot of joint, and the unit map is a weak equivalence. Uh, so in order to expectation to be true, I also need to do the same for unit map to be a weak equivalence, but this, this is not true, unfortunately. OK. Uh, so uh, probably, so I don't have time to exp to uh, say how how it constructed. How, how, so uh, this part one was constructed by Pridi in some in seventies, and this construction is sort of uh, goes through uh, hop algebras. So this is this is I remember that. Uh, okay. So okay. So okay. Now, what I should say. But I'm still want to achieve equivalence as above at the beginning. So how how I can do it? I for doing what I uh, introduce a notion of uh, f equivalence. So a map to two algebras. So 
Let's If we get it on the front of the first match, the weak equivalence in uh, here. Uh, and this notion is well behaved. Uh, uh, in particular, the important property of position that any weak equivalence in here is an uh, F equivalence. Mm -hmm. uh, and now uh, the theorem, which is better to call from I, I brought for model categories if you wish or something like that. Uh, from here, uh, that's uh, 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 the particular algebras, the standard one of truncated, is equivalent to the multiple categories of um, simply showistic of the algebras. Of, so, Uh, where I invert uh, F equivalences uh, and this one is a full uh, is a full uh, subcategory in the gamma category of superficialistic algebras. Uh, actually, so it's not just a full subcategory, it's a full uh, localizing subcategory. If I use terms correctly. So, so I have to just enlarge the notion to keep equivalences as a particular uh, strictly algebras, but I'm still uh, obtaining up to organization some of uh, here. Right? Uh, okay. So, of course, this statement, how, how, how is this statement it's proved? I just uh, uh, construct some some superficial model category with nice properties or on on both on both sides uh, we have both notions of the reverse and show that one, one of them is a false representation of another one. Uh, thank you. Now uh, another question arises how to describe this localizing subcategory. How to uh, describe this one is a category. Right. Uh, and this is probably a difficult question uh, in general. But if you restrict yourself for connected ones, uh, when it's more or less accessible. So, mm, uh, so let, let me denote, I, I don't know how to sound like this. Let me denote this one by S A, but let me denote this one by S X I. Uh, okay, for all objects, it's very hard to describe, it's probably hard. Uh, it's some notions of importance, it could be difficult. Uh, but for connected objects, it's accessible. So uh, and here I need to recall full sum. So let me, we have a special restricted reality. So special restricted reality has a restriction, has a P operation. So P operation is non additive, but it's still a number of simple shell states. So it induces uh, the map psi on the multiple groups. Yeah. All right. And this map is 
additive if n greater equal than one. It means that uh, pi n of n r and greater r f psi models. Right. Uh, okay, and now uh, as a statement, um, so and if you have a F psi model, it has a notion of completion. That's an ideal. And this is all behave. So now the uh, theorem, which is going to be the last one, but I connected the algebra. is in this subcategory if and only if all homotopy groups all its homotopy groups are, are derived axiotic complete. I complete uh, FP models. So you can ask a lot of questions to me. Like, you can ask, for example, what, what, what I mean by the right side complete, but let's sort of forget about it for a second. Uh, let me just motivate how, how this how this fair uh, uh, what is motivation for this theory? Uh, so actually, not, not the motivation was that. So uh, this theorem is analog of a very classical statement. So if you uh, remember the category of spaces and the category of pointed uh, connected spaces, you can introduce a notion, uh, you can localize this one with respect to some homology theory. For example, you can localize it uh, with respect to just ordinary homology with FPK efficiency. When uh, you have a statement that when you when you have a notion of complete of f complete space, f p complete space here, or z z is not p complete space here, and there's a theorem but simply connected space is uh, f p complete if and only if its homotopy groups are derived to be complete abelian groups. So this result is analog of uh, of course of of this classical result by Mao's return by Mao. Is it time for questions? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um, so so uh, what should happen if you replace like Lee and co-algebras with like L infinity and like E infinity co-algebras? Ah, it's a very good question. And I think uh, Shin can have uh, given, gave an answer for it, at least for some, uh, just, I don't know. He probably they work in Spectra, but I guess they, it also works in any stable in corpuses as well. So the problem, uh, where what uh, uh, if so you 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 wish to say something about infinity algebras, right? And you know what infinity algebras are described in terms of algebras or some other words. Oh, I can use the photo. Uh, the Cashul tool on part of the for commutative one is a shift of three, right? Mm -hmm. So you wish to say what there exists experience with L infinity for algebra, so algebra. So. Uh, but if you start to do all this procedure uh, by, by, by introducing uh, the homology of contract lead and construct some structure, you will get what you will obtain that this is not just the usual ordinary uh, L infinity algebra, it also should be divided power. Uh, what I mean, and by mean, what you have to take uh, for a free object, you have to take 
Or the mod be invariance instead of coinvariance. Uh, are you sure for coalgebra, divided power should be coinvariance, right? Ah, yeah, for coalgebra, coinvariance, yes. And I, when... I learned that two days ago, so don't be too impressed. I uh, no, no, it's, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Yes, so 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 eventually you, you wish to compare such things. So yeah. Uh, and I think Harper and Chink said that you have such an equivalence uh if you restrict on, on, on properly connected objects. Okay, yeah. So I was gonna kind of ask like like right before this, you made a comment where like you said like Oh, it works in like they did it in Spectra, so it should work here. Like, so so I guess um, the the Ching and Harper result you're talking about, that's not for like simplicial objects. That's just for like yes, yes, it's completely different. It's completely right, different. And, and so so the, that that thing is for Spectra, and does that have any implication about uh, about like this algebraic? Stuff for uh, no, I, I think no, not. okay, okay. Not. So, it's, you sort of uh, so you, actually, you want to have a special duality for algebra over a monad and sort of a special dual for monad, uh, and in some sense, we probably can uh, derive this statement to some general approaches. Uh, and I guess it's false in this picture, but it's just too lazy to, to think about in this way. Okay. Are there any other questions for Nikolai? Been asking a lot of applications. Yeah, I was, uh, <laughs> I, I was gonna ask about applications, but I've been talking a lot. Yeah. Uh, In that case, I can ask about applications. <laughs> Nikolai, would you like to tell us about applications of this thing? Uh, so it's not at this moment. <laughs> I'm working on well. To be continued at some yeah. future date. <laughs> yeah, but uh, where is a, a nice connection? A connection between uh, this simplicial and stiffer fields of some particular spaces, and probably uh, uh, this this result could, could be helpful uh, to for spaces as well. Uh, so the main, the main sort of some, the main the main appearance of this simplicial stiffer fields is because for the object. Uh, you can sort of compute uh, this uh, uh, with the groups, and uh, here and, and kind of we have these two uh, these two algebras here, and we know where to compute the uh, compute the multiple groups of of three objects. Here is extremely hard. So here it's, for example, extremely easy. Uh, you, we will take something like the lambda, but we won't get something like the lambda uh, of six orders. So on the six orders paper, uh, which is described uh, as the first page of the Adams spectral sequence. And so, uh, if you if, if you're very creative if you do, uh, think about spectral sequences very creatively as the deformations of the generations of particular of category where where you compute uh, your multiple groups then you can think about simplicialistic algebra as the deformations of the generation of particular spaces very not real one uh, but still simpler and so you can try to perform some computations where uh, such as showing your question qualities, probably say what, why these computations are doable, but at the same time, not trivial. Cool. Thank you. Any other questions? 
I guess uh, I just have a question about uh, uh, like uh, so. So I, I was with you and uh, when you said that like uh, yeah, the expectation that like uh, co-algebra has some some push co-algebra has something to do with some push uh -huh. uh, we algebras. Yeah. Uh, that was the expectation. Yeah. And. What ended up being the act? What ended up being the uh, the uh, the replacement? Ah, so so I have to replace uh, the equivalences here. Okay. I have I have to take some sort of equivalences, which is uh, uh, which are, so very definition is probably uh, was made uh, to. To, to 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 give some some equivalences, but after that it out, you also can kind of describe the the, the, the subcategory, mm. which is good. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. So you you find the equivalence by localizing with the, with the subcategory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I'm, I, yeah, and takes like some 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 initial equivalence. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Any other questions before we wrap up? If not, let's thank our speaker.